Hello everyone, welcome to AI Anytime channel. In this video, we are going to build a multi AI agent workflow that will help us make some uh, investment risk analysis. So a lot of people are trying to invest in stock markets using AI, which is a very dangerous thing. We'll see how we can use multiple AI agents and those agents can help us make better decisions. By any means, this video is not for making investment or trading or whatever. Okay, this will help us find out uh, based on statistics, deep learning, machine learning algorithms, if one should make investment in, for example, Nvidia or Microsoft looking at the recent market, whatever is happening. So that's the agenda of this video. We're going to have a multi AI agent workflow for this okay. using crew AI. So let's jump in now here. Before we go into it, guys, I want to show you something about our Discord community. We already are close to 300 people on Discord, and I, you know, I invite you to please join our Discord server as well. You know, and you know, let me just open this. I don't know what happened, and it's taking a bit of time. Yeah, but I, I invite you to join our Discord, participate in discussions. We are also announcing giveaways we are giving a uh, limited edition ai anytime merchandise and we also uh, giving away nitros so once it, once it is up i'll show you but here we're gonna install a few things so let me just install uh, you need these versions of true ai tools blah 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 and uh, i have already made it a bit big so you can see this once you install this probably it will ask you to restart the machine because you are upgrading the versions or downgrading the versions whatever and then you have to restart for this video the purpose is to use a uh, surfer api key and open ai so surfer is basically it scraps data from internet by the way uh, you know archive you know anywhere on internet wikipedia blah 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 and then open ai gonna use an llm probably gonna use We'll see GPT-4 OpenAI or whatever or GPT-3.5. So, so let me just show you here. So if you go GPT-3.5 Turbo, here, and probably we're gonna use these models. Okay, so we'll see. You can see the instruct model has very less context window, but it's powerful for instructions like chatbot. But probably we can rely on these models. Or, you know yeah this one we'll see which model we can use we can also use gpt 4 32k or 30 whatever okay so gpt 4 omni is there 32k is pretty uh, slow so we'll see that in a bit and here you can see it's installing it take a bit of time to install and i have everything in my secrets you can see here are the keys stored so i have my gemini keys i have my grow api keys I have my hugging face token keys. I have my open AI API keys, blah, blah, blah. Let's restart the session guys. You know, it restart and then we are good to go with. And I'm going to try it for a couple of stock, probably Nvidia or Microsoft and see what is says for, you know, if we should make some investment decisions using AI agents. And then you can create a workflow guys. You know, you can use Gumloop or DeFi AI to kind of build a custom ai agent multi agent workflow and then send automated uh uh emails right you can send emails uh or you know that's a that can automatically post it on twitter or linkedin so you can build these kind of workflows so here i'm gonna have this you can see i have i'm using all these keys from my environment so you have to use user data to do that and then i have a couple of tools i have search tool i have a scrape tool so upper dev tool and scrape is like uh, that uh, that is given by crew ai itself okay where you do not have to like use an api key for this but for search tool surper you have to use a surper api key so you have to go to surper.dev let me just show you if you are not aware of this you have to go to surper.dev and you can see it says the world's fastest and cheapest google search api so you can use this now i'm going to just run this here and i have an agent called data analyst agent and so in crew ai you have to first you know define agents then create tasks and then assign tasks and then start the agent which is kickoff so if you look at here on 
I have a data analyst agent as says monitor and analyze market data in real time to identify trends and predict market movements. Specializing in financial market, this agent employs statistical modeling and machine learning techniques. Renowned for its proficiency, blah, blah, blah. I'm giving a backstory to this and I'm using a couple of tools. And I also have allow delegation true. So if, if this agent needs help from the other agent, they can also take it. So let me just run this first. Let me run this the trading strategy invest agent which basically helps you develop a trading strategy so the first agent will bring up all the data analyze all the data the next agent which is trading strategy agent they will look at that data and then just give you a trading strategy then we have an execution agent basically an advisor that looks at that trade and then gives you an uh, advice on that then i have risk management because you also have to Look at all the risk associated with the, you know, potential, if you look at here what we have written, potential trading activities based on market dynamics, risk assessments model that we have in finance, finances, accounting, etc. So on that and, and then I'm creating tasks. So I have data analysis tasks. I'm giving an expected output and I'm also giving which, which agent should perform this task. So you can see the data analyst agent. Sorry guys, I'm a bit ill due to sore throat. Adjust that with my audio for this video. And then I have a strategy development task as well. Same goes, I'm passing the variables over here. You can see the stock selection. So for example, if you select NVIDIA, then this will be NVDA. If you select Microsoft, it will be MSFT. If you select Apple, it will be double APL. So I'll give all this code. So do not have, do not have to worry about the code and all. And then I have execution planning task and I'm assigning which agents will do that, what will be the expected output and then I have task for risk advisor. And after that I'm going to create, I'm going to define the crew with all the agents and tasks in a workflow. You can see here are my agents, here are my tasks and I have GPT-4 OMNI model, probably I should change that. Let's go with let's go with GPT 3.5 Turbo model if you want. So let me just change this here. I need a bit larger context window. Uh, GPT 4 Omni will give you around 8,000 context window, which I'm not a big fan of it. And then I'm gonna give, so you can see I have Nvidia. Let's try it out with Nvidia. So you can see I'm doing example data for kicking off the process, and I'm saying Nvidia. 100,000 is my initial capital and risk tolerance is medium. I can take medium risk and trading strategy preference day trading and news impact consideration true. So whatever news is happening, you know, the, the NVIDIA GTC, NVIDIA Blackwell GPU chip, you know, three, three trial year market uh, value and stuff, everything. And now I'm going to kick off and once you do a kick off, it will take few minutes guys it might take up to five minutes because you have a lot of agents and tasks to work on so let me just run this and we have verbose and stiff you can see it's getting into chains and so if sometime it might not work guys due to a lot of queues in api that you are using like super or whatever so you do not have to get this start and you have to start it again and you can see it's entering into the chain and stuff you know it will do a lot of things over here so what i'm going to do i'm going to pause the video and come back come back once this is done and as you guys can see we have got our results guys okay let me just run this it was comprehensive and it was like and you can find out risk analysis report for nvidia trading strategies it says the and i'll show you the green one probably you can find out the logs over here as well risk analysis report it did a lot of things it did a bunch of things let me show you what it all did so i'll just go up and not only once but at numerous occasions so if you go up because you have so many agents working on the first thing that it did it it went on internet and it find out relevant news that is associated with nvidia and you can see this is how it works so let me just scroll down and you can see uh, real time nvidia stock data it, it has got all these search results, NASDAQ, uh, you know, blah, blah, blah. And then it gives you real-time quotes. 
whatever from some website nasdaq website wherever it kind of scrapped it by the way nasdaq is not providing nvidia real real time information i think anymore but scroll down you know you can find out live investing on some different other uh website you know, it's getting it uh and you can find out scroll down nvidia historical prices you know the common stock blah 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 and goes on yahoo finance market watch and let's first read this we did a lot of things you know it got results it even goes on archive for some uh, statistical and lstm or deep learning architecture paper to make investment decisions because we have said based on machine learning and stuff so it also goes on there and get gets that okay so bunch of thing or numerous numerous occasion and you know trading strategy and whatnot so scroll down keep scrolling down and you can read that it's a long-term investment risk market volat volatility loss of capital liquidity risk credit risk operational risk options trading risk specific risk factor geopolitical because it's a global firm finance and corporate tech and innovation macro political blah 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 so it has given you a risk analysis report for nvidia trading strategies you know you can of course look see this as an augmentation that can probably help you you know make a decision but not entirely okay now let's change this guy so i'm going to change nvidia to probably apple okay so i'm just going to make this apple and i'll keep everything as same again i'm going to go inside result and you can just look at the same thing so you can just kind of And you can find out for Apple, you know, it's kind of going in, you know, for the Apple here. And yeah, and you can find out there. So it's again going on the news, looking at all the Apple news. You can see CNBC, for one example, finance, Yahoo Finance, which is like a our go-to source for any kind of financial data that they have. So it's looking at all these sites, you know, uh, all the news that you see for Apple. And it has to fetch a lot of information and then make strategies, give it to the next agent, you know, to work on. So I'll take a pause here and come back, come back when this is done as well. As you guys can see, we got our result for Apple as well. Uh, very bullet pointed. And this is something that you can improve it by putting better prompts and instructions. Risk factor, you know, complexity of the strategy, time decay, volatility early assignment liquidity recommendations blah 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 and then you have frequency of trading market vol volatility etc uh spreading resources too thin losing focus on core business that's what it says on apple lack of understanding in new market recommendations for risk mitigation this is an apple i'm not convinced with apple you know i'm not convinced at all by this risk analysis report Okay, uh, but I was somehow convinced on the NVIDIA one, but not on this one. And that's what is important, guys. You should not make decisions entirely based on this thing. This can help you get a bit of information and some early signals. What should you do and what should you not? But completely, if you completely rely on this, it might backfire. So please do not do that. And I'll give you this code. So have a look and let me know what you think. And if you have any questions, thoughts or feedback, please let me know in the comment box. You can also reach out to me through my social media channels. Find the information on channel banner and channel about us. Also, guys, join our Discord server, Discord community, where we are announcing giveaways. You know, we have freelancing gigs, we have internship, job opportunities, so on and so forth. I'll give the link in description as well. If you like the content, please hit the like icon. And if you haven't subscribed the channel yet, please do subscribe the channel, guys. That motivates me to create more such videos in your future. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next one.